Hi, welcome back to my mathematics tutorial. My name is Peter C. Dogwood, you know your math tutor, and I'm an instructor of mathematics at the University of Liberia. In my today's lesson, I will be discussing differential equations and particularly we'll be looking at variable separable method. And on a variable separable method, we told you in our previous videos that when you have a differential equation and it is possible that you separate the variables, that is, say you have x and y variables in the differential equation problem, if it's possible that you express uh, the equation in the form wherein all of the expressions with x are on one side of the equation and all of the expressions with y are on the other side of the equation, then it means that that differential equation can be solved using variable separable method. Now, that is type 1. Now, what if you have a first order differential equation as well and then you cannot easily separate the variables at the first look of the problem. So, but you look at the problem, you can bring in some substitution. So, so that when you substitute a certain portion of the problem, it leads you to a first order separable differential equation. So with that, you can say that is type two, which is referred to as reducible to variable separable. So we want to apply this method in these two problems like we did in, pre in, in previous problems. We apply this method to several other problems now. So you can just check them up in our other videos. So let's see how we find the general solution of this differential equation, dy by dx plus 1 equals to e raised to the power x plus y. So we notice the first thing we see is that we see x plus y. So this e raised to x plus y, this expression is not only in one variable like you have x plus 1 or 1 plus y, but it's x plus y. So we say let's substitute that x plus y. So we say let x plus y equals to some variable u. Now the variable u now is a new function. So we integrate both sides. The u over dx is equals to 1 plus dy. So we're differentiating both sides, not integrating uh, by dx. So we differentiated both sides. And then we got the u by the x plus, let's say, positive 1, which is the derivative of the x, plus the y by the x, which is the derivative of y. Uh, now we need to solve for the y by the x. So we have the u over the x minus 1 is equals the y by the x. So you see that? Now, we'll go back to the problem. Where so we see the y by the x, we put the u over the x minus 1. But we have a plus 1 here. Equals e raised to the power x plus y now is just u. So 1 cancel 1. We cross multiply. So we have the u equals to e raised to the power u dx. Since it is dx, we don't need an expression in u here. We must divide both sides by e raised to the power u. So we will have e raised to the power minus u du is equals dx. So we can now integrate both sides. We know that the integral of e raised to the power ax dx is equal to 1 over a e raised to the power ax plus c. So our a here represents negative 1, which is this, negative 1. So we're going to have 1 all over negative 1 e raised to the power minus u equals to the integral of dx is just x plus c. So we can multiply this whole thing by minus 1. So we'll have e raised to the power uh, minus u equals minus x minus c. But this minus c is just the same as c. Now we also know that the ln of e raised to the power x is equal to x. So if we take the ln on both sides, the ln of e raised to the power minus u equals to the ln of minus x. So we just take a positive constant called a. So this will just give us minus u equals to the ln of a now minus x. So what was u? On the onset, u was x plus y. So because of this negative, all change too. So let, let's just maintain it like that. So we have a minus x. So I can multiply all sides by negative, negative 1. So I will have x uh, plus y equals to negative the ln of a minus x. Now I can send the x across the equal sign. I will have y to be negative because when x is going across, it becomes negative. 
and this is also negative, so I just factor out negative, plus ln of a minus x. So this is how we find the general solution of the first problem. Let's quickly look at the second problem. So within the second problem, we have x to the fourth power divided by dx plus x cubed plus or times y plus CSC, which is the abbreviation for cosecant, the cosecant of xy. So now, because this angle has xy, so we need to substitute that xy with some other variable because the, the angle here has xy. So this, this expression now is in two variables, not just one variable. So we need to make it in one variable. So the first thing we could also do right up here, we could factor out some x to the, the third power. We'll be left with just x, the y by the x, plus now x to the third power is already out. So we just have that expression, x, y, equals to zero. So now we say let u equals to x, y. Now we can use the product rule here. So the u by dx is equal. Now we hold x and differentiate y. We get the y by dx plus we hold y and differentiate x. We get 1. So this is it. Now we see here that x the y by dx plus y, x the y by dx plus y. So it just equals to the u by dx. So we can have x cubed the u by dx plus C S C, this x y now is just u equals to zero. Now if we multiply this whole thing by dx, we will we will have x cubed d u plus C S C u d x equals to zero. Now we can we can we can make d u the subject. We have x cubed d u equals minus C S C u d x. Now, because this is dx, we need all x here. So since this is in u, we have to divide both sides by c, s, c, u. So this and this will cancel. Also, because this is the u, we need only u. So we divide both sides by s cube. So also this will cancel. You have the u all over c, s, c, u equals negative x raised to the power minus 3. We send this in the numerator. And then dx. Now, the variables have been separated, so we just integrate both sides. So we can rewrite this as 1 all over sine of u because CSCU is 1 over sine of u equals negative x raised to the power minus 3 plus 1 all over minus 3 plus 1 plus c. So this now is sine of u du is equals negative, so it's x raised to the power minus 2 over minus 2 plus c so minus divided by minus or negative divided by negative is just positive the integral of sine of u is negative cos of u so this will give us x to the power minus 2 all over positive 2 plus c so we let we can multiply all sides by negative so we, we will have cos of u equals Negative now. Now I can reciprocate this so that it turns to positive 2x squared minus c. So this minus c, since it's a constant as well, we can just rewrite it as positive constant, positive c or positive a. So we know that u is equal to xy. So we replace u minus 1 all over. So since this now is going to be positive, positive constant, we write it first a minus 1 over 2x squared. So this is how we find the general solution to the differential equation using type 2, which is the reducible to variable separable. So thanks all so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please do that now. Please. Thank you. See you. Like the video. Share the video. Hit the notification button for uploads. Thank you.